short throw to the right. Knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Just about three yards there. Well, that's really a nice tackle on that play. Anytime you get man coverage on the outside against a receiver, you have to be able to make that one-on-one -on -one play, and he did it great. They line up at the 44. Passes out to the left. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. Lamar Woodley was there to bring him down. The Ravens are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. They line up at the 24. Short pass to his left. He's wrestled down at about the 15-yard line by McFadden. When you're facing a blitz, you're forced to make a quick read. He read it right and got good yardage out of it. It's second down. They only need a couple of inches for the first. Dumps it out right. He's in! Touchdown! I remember when fullbacks used to look more like offensive guards out there. Now you got guys that can catch it and run it in for the touchdown. What a play. The extra point to tie this game up. Cundiff is good on the point after. Baltimore is just about ready to kick this one away. Sanders is deep looking to return the kickoff. The Steelers will look to build momentum by getting another touchdown on this series. The offense will start at the 17. First down and 10. Has a man to his right. Catches it, and he's dropped. That's a two-yard loss. He did a great job of keeping containment there. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that one. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 15. He's looking down the middle. Throws. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. From their own 31-yard line. Mendenhall, the ball carrier. Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. It's a second and 11 situation here. So the ball on their own 30. And so we've reached the two-minute warning. Oh, 
Looking for a man. Looking. Fires it to the left. Ward was the intended receiver on the play. Third down, 11 yards for the first. Searching for an open man. Throws middle of the field. Corey Redding was there for the stop. Now you don't have to worry about one like that being intercepted. Nobody on the defensive side could have caught that bullet. Looks left. Loads it up. The pass is broken up. What a play. Number 17, the intended receiver on the play. Second down. So they'll face a second and ten. Roethlisberger gives it up the middle. He's tackled around the 43-yard line by Nakamura. Dumps it out left. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. And it appears that the coach will keep his offense out there. Throws to his right. Ed Reed was there to bring him down. The Steelers are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Short throw to the left. And he's tackled around the 19-yard line by Carr. Mendenhall gains seven yards with the catch. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. Throws it to the middle. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown! You have to be careful with this offense not to pay too much attention to those great receivers on the outside. Sometimes those tight ends can really be a problem. What did that pay off big? Swisham hits the PAT. It's now a seven-point game. Pittsburgh is up seven. Swisham will be kicking off. Number 34 is back to receive the kick. He'll start at the eight-yard line. He makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Christopher Carter was there for the stop. A nice play there results in a big gain through the air. Yeah, and you see the defensive back try to make a play on the ball there instead of making sure the pass fell incomplete. This guy will make a lot of big plays for his team, but sometimes it's a bit of a gamble, and that time it didn't pay off. And we'll see if he takes a more conservative approach the next time the ball is thrown in his direction. Rice gets the carry. He's dropped down right around the 24-yard line by Clark. From their own 24-yard line. Rice gets another handoff. The Tasmanian Devil, Troy Palamalu, was there to bring him down. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. Looking for a big gain down the middle. And he's dropped as soon as he makes the catch. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. He's brought down right around the 46-yard line by Gay. Number 83 gains about five yards on the play. Surveys the field. 
Another catch on this drive. He's wrestled down right around the 38-yard line by McFadden. And as we head to halftime, our score is 14-7.